All right, guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is Stella, and today we're going to be reacting to Arcane episode 5, Everybody Wants to Be My Enemy. Get it? Because it's from the song, from the intro. Yay! Anyways, in our last episode, we had just come back from a pretty major time jump. We jumped a couple of years into the future from episode 3. Um, so all of the characters are a decent uh, amount older. They're quite a bit older than when we left them, um, which is good for some of them. For Jace and Victor, it means they've become very successful with their hex tech. Um, Jace is now a pretty big celebrity. He's done a lot of good things for uh, Topside, and he's very much in the spotlight, and we are going to see in this episode if he gets voted into the council. Um, Jinx is wreaking havoc. She is blowing stuff up. She's not doing her best. I, I, hope, I hope we see a turnaround for her. And Vi has been in prison. We're not sure how long. But the last time we checked, uh, Caitlin was going to talk to her, ask her some questions. So I'm very curious to see how she's doing after this whole time jump. Um, as always, if you want to watch the full-length reaction, then you can find that up on our Patreon, along with next week's reaction, which is going to be episode 6 of Arcane. So please check that out uh, if you're interested. It would really help the channel. And if you're new here and you've never seen me before or us before, uh, welcome. We'd love to have you. Hope you stay. Um, and let's just get into Arcane episode 5. This is a very new setting already. This looks nothing like uh, Undercity or Topside. Is this Caitlyn? She's got blue hair. It doesn't look like her though. Yeah, no, it's gotta be. So she's good. It's Grayson. I knew it. I knew there was a reason I liked Caitlyn. She's for sure she's uh, inspired by Grayson. Like she's been inspired growing up by Grayson. That was quite some shooting, Kerman. Did my parents pay you to let me win? You held your shot. I saw you. The trophy is yours. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you didn't exactly. She didn't answer the question. I'm an enforcer. For me, knowing how to handle this weapon means being able to protect people. What are you here for? My sunny personality. Why not? He was a witness in an ongoing investigation. Yeah, she attacked him because he's one of Silco's men. This was a waste of time. Couldn't have put it better. Hey, get Silco, the industrialist. Does this mean anything to you? Yes, it does. Where did you get this? You work for Silco? Uh, they all do. I need proof if I'm to believe what you're saying about Silco. You enforcers are all the same. Just asshole criminals in fancy uniforms. You know what? Find Silco yourself. Looks like we got the same thing going both ways of them being like, Oh, people like you. We're not going to get anywhere if we don't stop with that. <laughs> I've got orders from Councillor Talis concerning inmate 516. You, uh, you want us to have a chat with her? No. It's for her release. Since when's he a counselor? Since today. Oh, okay. So he did, he got the position on the council. How many chats have you had with her? Gosh, they animate these characters so beautifully. Like their expressions are just absolutely mesmerizing. These brave enforcers sacrificed their lives to defend the values of our great city. Fathers. Sons. Daughters. Is that his kid? Or one of the dead enforcers kids? That is... Yeah, that's... I did... I guess he has a daughter. She must have... I'm sure she you know, was born within the last time jump. All right, I don't love him, but I now don't want anything bad to happen to him because he's got a daughter. You said you could control her. 
I lost six officers. Six. Nope. No. I hate him. Why? Why is he? You unless you give me something. You corrupt. Arresting. Oh, that's tidy for you. What if I'm not interested in playing along? And there is more yet to achieve. I hope you can remain a part of it. Yeah, he's gonna, because he's an idiot. And he's gonna get more people killed. We're How dare he give a eulogy at a funeral that he caused? Or that he had a part in? Manifests are full of discrepancies dating back months. This is a poor use of our time. Yeah, well, now he is a politician. Like, he can't just focus on people. That's not what's expected of him now, you know? You sure you don't want to confer with the other counselors before? This corruption runs deep, Sheriff. I intend to root it out. Good. Have you made any progress with the stolen gemstone? Uh, yes. Chief suspect is an undercity gang. <laughs> It's always the blood and the cough. What is happening? Okay. I need to get to the lab. This poor man. It's all about these rooms. They form some kind of mathy. I am curious, curious to see how she does kind of recreating these, you know, arcane on. weapons that Jace has invented. Here goes. But, you know, if she does, that's a lot of power in, in some crazy hands. Oh, no. This is why you don't do this. Now you just... She triggered her PTSD. No. No, it was a mistake. It was a mistake. See, ugh. I feel for her. Because she hasn't quite grown up. Oh, wow. All right, she's been taking parkour lessons. <laughs> Me too, Caitlin. Me too. That is epic. I love that shot so much. I wonder how long it's been since she was in the Undercity. Nice jacket. Is that Deckard? Like the kid from Earth? That's not. No, because he worked for, for Silco. There's no way that's him. Welcome to the lanes. Listen, it's very clear now that I have trouble telling these characters apart. Um. What if we've been looking at it backwards? We've been trying to discover runes that invoke specific effects and then molding them to a useful function. Mages aren't bound to single functions. It's said the arcane speaks through them. I'm still not following. Me neither. You think Hextech can learn? Okay, we're getting into artificial intelligence territory, which is always a little worrying. Oh, Jericho, have I missed these? Uh No. Delicious. I'm rushing out. Isn't that why we're here? We're here because I'm hungry. Do you know what prison food is like? Is that a violin and like a tuba? Years. Since my parents brought me for the Winterfest. We're not here for the performance. Your house is in trouble. I'm here for the performance. Cut back to him. Avoid certain leniencies with regard to her trade in exchange for her generous academy patronage. I tightened our security. And in so doing, put a target on your back. See? All those who covet your power over the welfare. Just because people have power doesn't mean they suddenly have 
perfectly balanced morals. They still are one's common enemy. James. They still have their own interests at heart as opposed to others, especially the counselors. So they're going to abuse this power to get things for themselves. Girl, don't shoot it. It's not doing nothing. All right. I tried. <laughs> Her brain is visible. I don't know how to explain it. Oh my gosh, all right. Jeez, okay. Shh. There is no chance that I would ever want to be in a fight with her. And like, I understand, but jeez. The other thing that I really like, which is just just a really cool animation tactic, is how they're like showing her psyche, her insanity with those chalk drawn animations over the regular animation. Yeah, it is. It's a violin with a with a horn instrument attached. Reminds the safety of the hex gates for collateral. No one's asking you to. These are simply favors amongst friends. You're a symbol of the future now, Jace, whether you like it or not. Yeah, but what kind of future is that gonna be? The council assumes you'll fail. Time to prove them all wrong. I had quite a shock this morning. Enforcers banging on my door. But he's here now to negotiate all his deals personally. No, like this isn't- Willing to reinstate- I, I liked Mel, to but she's just his... feeding him lines to keep everything peaceful. The man's a fool. With him, you'd be investing in the past. With us, you'd be investing in the future. You know, Counselor Madara's right. The Hex Gates are only the beginning. No! We're currently looking for new partners in our Hex Tech research. Don't, this is a slippery slope. If you... How can I say no to such an auspicious offer? He's been quite the investment. Indeed. Better than expected. He's literally shaking hands with corruption. Like, Heimerdinger's just having a grand old time, though. <laughs> Ooh, yay! <laughs> Me too, buddy. That was great. Like a trumpet. <laughs> Girl, don't. What are you doing peeking on them? You know what your problem is? Please, tell me. You expect everyone to give you what you want. Uh, hi, uh, I'm Pam. What's your name? Matilda. Call her whatever you- This is an interesting situation. Uh, yes, Matilda. My parents named me Matilda. Don't, girl, don't do the accent. Matilda, the, uh... All right, she's trying her best. I appreciate it. Sure. What a lovely surprise. The ex deck Wonder Boy Dude, is on the council. His money literally has blood on it. It's only a matter of time before he finds the truth. We're not being so subtle with these metaphors. A story. If I'm discovered, we're both finished. This has gone too far. Imagining yourself a hero. Ah! What? Then what are you waiting for? No, yeah, okay. <laughs> Why do they keep doing that? Why do they keep giving us the fake outs? Because they know that dumb people like me are going to fall for it. That's why. Once we've cracked their prize, Topside will have no power over us. I can't do it. You're the only one I can trust with is Jinx. I keep seeing them that day. I mean, I don't blame through her. She went through something like incredibly... Traumatic. Circles number two's irregular. I can have Miguel tell you where to find her. I owe you. So she knows. She knows that that powder is jinx now. She just doesn't want to, like, break it to her, which I get. We're not often in the position to give anything back. I 
couldn't have done it without you. See, before I was here for this, because they like they all they had chemistry, but also she's manipulating him into just going along with what everyone else says, which is corrupt. So sorry, girl, I'm not on your side anymore. That's beautiful. Are you headed home soon? I thought we could walk together. Oh. I'm uh, probably. No, going to no, she's there. just trying to get to know you. Oh, there's always tomorrow, right? Good night, Miss Young. Victor. Vicky boy, come on. I've met people like this that they just. I've been this person that it's like every night. All right. Every night is just working nonstop, and then you wake up the next morning and you start working again. Find a chair or something. Sit down. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And now that he's passed out, it's gonna something bad's gonna happen now while these two are at it. Oh, I'm. Is it gonna like, it's gonna like assimilate his blood? Vander wasn't the man you thought he was. Right, he was like a brother to you and- Did I miss anything? <laughs> I've got a new one for you. That day, I let a weak man die and another was reborn. You need to let Powder die. So the fear of pain will no longer con- no, because Powder is who she is. No, just like you were always meant to be. Wake up to this okay, we're getting the song outside of the intro. Interesting. So Imagine Dragons is just in this episode. I like the implications that inside the world of this TV show, Imagine Dragons exists and is a band. <laughs> Oh, and she's got a cute drawing, too. She's the kind of daughter who gives him a cute drawing. Stop being a bad person. No! That was so fast. He, like, just... He's already, like, Jeez. dying, isn't he? Victor, the doctors, uh, they said you... How much time do I have? Not enough, I guess. All of the characters that I really liked. Bye. Oh yeah, all right. You filthy traitor. Vander had his chance. Oh, they've created it into like a whole armband now. Jeez. Come on, you can do it. I've seen her fighting. She is she's good. She can do this. Who cares about the mechanical arm? Vi's got this. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, no, she's gonna win. Listen, my girl is strong. My girl is fast. My girl knows how to fight. Okay. Or the arm self repairs. Where's my sister? Where is he keeping her? Keeping her? She works for him. <gasps> Uh. 
No. She's like his daughter. No, 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 no. Someone else has got to come in now. Caitlyn. Caitlyn, get over here. That's my girl. Right when you need her. Why did you let her go? Do you ever say thank you? <laughs> you were here now. Whose fault is that? You're an all right shot. I'm an excellent shot. I was gonna say, give her a little credit where credit is due. Stop calling me that. My name is Caitlin. Is she gonna figure it out? The sister. She's back. From the dead. All right. Um. Yeah. I like this. I liked this episode. I gotta be honest. It didn't feel like as much happened in this one as the other ones. Maybe that's just me. That could just be me. Um, I'm so glad that Vi is back. Gosh, she is so cool. Like, I just, I want to be her. I think that's probably, I think a lot of people feel that way. She is so cool. Haley Steinfeld is always killing it. Raising the bar constantly, impressing us all. Um, but Caitlin and Vi, I knew this. They're a good team. Like, I can see them being a really powerful team. You know, I just after a little bit of getting to know each other. Um, yeah. I'm scared for Victor. My personal theory, this is what I'm wondering. So he keeps seeing visions, right? That's what he's saying. And when he's, you know, passing out, the stuff he's seeing doesn't just look like he's dizzy. So I'm wondering, and this, this would make sense from a storytelling aspect. Does the arcane have kind of a poisonous effect? Maybe not poisonous effect, but it can be damaging to people um because that would be a big problem for piltover um and just how much they've been relying on it because i'm wondering if it also it sucked up his blood like it's very clearly got a mind of its own it's contributing to corruption um and if it if it can cause this kind of like an illness or maybe make his illness his pre-existing illness work that's a big deal so i am wondering if that's kind of what we're leading up to that this is going to be something that kind of i don't know i don't know what i'm quite what i'm trying to say um, but if the arcane has this poisonous effect on people you know we've already seen it corrupt people but I'm wondering if it could corrupt your body physically. Um, I really hope he doesn't die. I'm hoping whatever it takes to get him to stay alive. I like him a lot. I think he is just a very smart character. He's very well thought out. And he seems like he's got a really good heart. Jace does as well. But Jace is being twisted. And now, like, he and Mel got at it. He's got that attachment to her and she's very clearly pulling him down a bad path you know like he's she's pulling him down this path to just go along with everything that the capital is doing um i guess i don't know i called them the capital the uh the city and everything that the council is doing um which is dangerous for him and for obviously everyone else because he's got the brains if he gets corrupted and if his morals are corrupted he has the power to really mess some stuff up for people um i am curious i i just i want to see caitlin succeed because we saw in the beginning of this episode that she kind of looked up to grayson as a kid which makes perfect sense and i i kept saying like grayson i'm so mad she died way too soon uh, I cannot believe they killed her off so early because she was one of the most fascinating characters in the series so far. She had a good head on her shoulders. She was clearly a very good enforcer. Like, we need her now. We could use her. Instead of Marcus, who's, like, going behind everybody's backs, 
basically betraying the entire city that he's quote unquote enforcing that he is a sheriff of. Yeah, this man is mm, very frustrating. Um, I just wish I do wish I just wish Gratian was still alive because she would be doing so much better. She would be keeping everyone safe. You know, she would. She'd be smart. She'd be thinking things through. She wouldn't be working with an evil villain. Um, but I do think, I think Caitlin can definitely step into those shoes. She just needs to kind of believe in herself a little bit more because she right now has, I don't know, I think she has doubts, you know, and I don't know. I, th I think she could, she should be the sheriff, not Marcus. That's pretty obvious. Um, yeah, for the most part, <sighs> I can't say if I know exactly where this is going, which I like. I find in a lot of animated stuff, you know, the story can be a little bit predictable. They hit very common story beats. Not to name any specific movies, but I think you know the types of animated movies that I'm talking about where you watch the movie and you know exactly the beats that the movie's going to hit. It's going to do this, and then this is going to happen, and then the characters are going to get sad, and then da 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 and so on and so forth. Um, but this is, this is tricking me. Um, not that it's hard to do. I'm gullible. If you put something in front of my face and say, this is what that is, I'm going to believe you. Um, but I, I am really excited to not know exactly what's going on, right? Like you feel like something will go wrong with our, the arcane and Piltover and that's exciting, but you don't know what. Like, I'm not sure what exactly is going to go wrong. Is it going to become like an artificial intelligence type thing now that it's sucked up some of Victor's blood? Like, you know, is it going to start to corrupt the the people uh, in the uh, top side? Like, there's so many different possibilities. The same way there are different possibilities, you know, down below. Like, I'm curious to see just what Vi and, and Jinx's interaction is going to be like. You know, does Vi still resent her? I would hope not, but you don't know, especially now that Jinx has fully committed herself to, like, doing evil things. And is Jinx going to be able to deal with seeing her sister again? Because she almost lost it seeing her, seeing someone who looked like her, right, in episode four. Um, so, I don't know. I'm just rambling on and on about how I don't know what's going to happen. I just want to get straight into episode six and figure this out. Um, this is kind of crazy because this is episode five. So we're more than halfway done, which is super scary because I know stuff is going to go down in those last couple episodes. It always does. Um, yeah, but as those are my thoughts for this episode, as always, if you want to watch the full length reaction, that's going to be up on our Patreon along with episode six. Um, so please go check that out. Help us out a little bit. And if you're new here, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Jedediah is also new. I don't know if you guys noticed. He's on this cactus today. I moved him around, but he's still watching with me. He's enjoying very much. Um, his favorite character is... What's your favorite character? Oh, his, his favorite character is... I'm trying to come up with something for him. His favorite character is also Victor, like me. There we go. You gotta come up with something more creative. Um, but yeah, if you're new... I hope you stick around. I hope you enjoy yourself here. I hope you enjoy the reaction. And I'll see you next time. Have an amazing rest of your day. Peace out.